what is the truth behind RFK Racing's results? Bringing Roush Fenway Keselowski Racing back to life is a big challenge for Brad Keselowski. But what is the actual truth behind the RFK Racing's results? What did Brad Keselowski say about this? Why did NASCAR hand out penalties to Brad and his team? Hey, race friends, welcome back to NASCAR Zone. We are back with another interesting video. Today, we are going to talk about the truth behind RFK Racing's results. A new car on top of that, incredibly difficult. You see this where they've updated this with this. Before we begin, I'd like to ask you NASCAR friends to subscribe to this awesome channel. And don't forget to turn on your notifications too. Let's start now. Roush Fenway Keselowski Racing is the new name for the former Roush Fenway Racing team. As the team's driver owner, Brad Keselowski is responsible for bringing the Ford team back to prominence after leaving a high-profile position at Team Pence. After 12 full NASCAR Cup Series seasons, as a driver with a championship and 35 race wins, he now holds the title of driver owner. Racer Keselowski has a difficult mission. Roush Fenway Keselowski Racing, the former Roush Fenway Racing team, has been renamed Roush Fenway Keselowski Racing with former Team Pence driver Brad Keselowski in command. The number 6 Kohler Generators Ford is owned and driven by Brad Keselowski. The Roush organization, once one of Cup Racing's most successful teams, has been in decline for years. A single driver, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. at Talladega and Daytona in 2017, has won the last two races the team has competed in since 2015. Keselowski will partner with Chris Buescher in the number 17 Ford for the team's number 6 Ford. The Daytona 500 marked Keselowski's first career points race in a new setting. Keselowski has never won the Daytona 500 despite his extensive success in NASCAR's top division, which includes six victories at Talladega Super Speedway, Daytona Sister Circuit. I think I've won a few races at Talladega, he said. After the race, Keselowski admitted that he didn't deserve to win and that in some of the races he should have won he didn't. I'm sure things will balance out in the end. Last year, I think we were really close to passing for the lead on the final lap and final corner. This year, I don't feel like we are as close as I would like to be. That's as near as it gets. In order to have a fair chance of winning, all I need to do is maintain my vehicle on the ground and aim in the appropriate direction for the entire race. On the 500's penultimate lap, Brad Keselowski and Joey Logano, who was battling for the win with him, wrecked. This caused a massive pileup, and Michael McDowell emerged victorious. In the aftermath of the crash, Keselowski's chances of winning the 500 were shattered, and he finished 13th. Now let's take a more clear look at Daytona 500. What did Brad Keselowski say after? There is still a long way to go for us, Keselowski admitted. In the last four or five years, this team hasn't won a race, and it hasn't won a non-restrictor play track in about a decade. You won't achieve your goals in a day or two. This isn't going to be fixed overnight, either, but we're going to give it our best job. Matt McCall, an experienced crew chief who joined RFK Racing after Chip Ganassi's organization shutter, will be Keselowski's next crew chief. McCall was accompanied by a number of Ganassi mechanics. According to Keselowski, a number of very smart people from Ganassi and other areas make their way over to NASCAR each year. We needed to add to the very strong team we already had. Working with him McCall has been an absolute pleasure. He's a true racer who's competed in motorsports as both a driver and a crew chief, and he shares many traits with Pence crew chief Paul Wolf, with whom I previously worked. The sky's the limit for him, in my opinion. But why did NASCAR hand out major penalties to Brad Keselowski and his team? In 2022, it looks like Brad Keselowski and Roush Fenway Keselowski Racing are the first ones to break the next-gen NASCAR rules. Brad Keselowski and his Roush Fenway Racing team received an L2-level punishment from NASCAR when it was discovered that the team had altered a single-source supply part. When the number 6 Ford Mustang was taken to the R&D Center following Atlanta Motor Speedway's penultimate Cup Series race, the sanctioning body identified the infringement. Sections 14.1 and 14.5 of the governing body's rulebook control the punishments. 
One of these is that Brad Keselowski will lose 100 driver points and 10 playoff points if he makes it to the Cup Series playoffs. Matt McCall was fined $100,000 and suspended for the next four Cup Series races, in addition to the 100 owner points removed from his team's total for the year. It was announced on Twitter by NASCAR's official account, which stated, NASCAR docks the number six Rouch Fenway Keselowski racing team 100 owner points, 100 driver points, and 10 NASCAR playoff points for changing a part that came from a single source. Matt McCall, the crew chief, was fined $100,000 and banned from the next four races. Before the penalty, Keselowski had 122 points, which put him 16th on the list. With 100 points taken away, he now has 22 points and is 35th in the standings. He is behind every full-time Cup Series driver. Keselowski must finish in the top 30 and win a race by the end of the regular season in order to make the playoffs. With the introduction of the next-gen car and the start of the 2022 season, officials established the penalty system. They said the team should follow a strict set of rules about parts and changes. What are the level 2 penalties that NASCAR can give for L2 violations? Even though this is definitely a big loss for both the team and the driver, it is not the worst L2 penalty. Guidelines for L2 violations were released in January, just before the season started. Here are some of the penalties that could be given. 75 to 120 point loss. 10 to 25 playoff points lost. Four to six races, one or two crew members are taken out of the race. $100,000 to $250,000 fine. What did Bob Pakras? A famous NASCAR journalist have to say about this penalty? No one has said what part was changed or what kind of change it was. Bob Pakras, a well-known NASCAR journalist, tweeted what he thinks the part is, saying, From what I've been told by people who should know and have had confirmed by people who should know, Keselowski's violation has to do with the change of the rear body panel. The RFK Racing Team has decided to challenge Brad Keselowski's L2 penalty. At a later time, a group of three people will hear the appeal and think about it. Why did Brad Keselowski and RFK Racing have filed an appeal? Following the announcement on Thursday that the number six would be receiving a penalty, RFK Racing had until Tuesday to decide whether or not they would appeal the judgment. The answer was rather straightforward, and the RFK team completed the task in a reasonable amount of time. They issued a statement on Friday that stated, in connection to the penalties announced yesterday by NASCAR, we have submitted a notice of appeal. We look forward to the opportunity to work through the process. They appealed the decision and filed the paperwork on Friday. Having said that it is quite doubtful that NASCAR will change its mind about the decision they've already made. After all, a choice of this magnitude does not occur without the application of careful thought and deliberation. So, what's the current scenario for Brad Keselowski after the penalty? He is still in that situation because he hasn't done well enough to win, finish in the top 5, or finish in the top 10 since the first race of the season. Since the Atlanta penalty, he has finished in the top 20 in 6 of the 10 races at Daytona and presently sits in 30th place in the point standings. In order to qualify for the 2022 playoffs, he would need to win all of his remaining races. At this time, he is 179 points behind the leaders, which is nearly three full races. While I don't expect the players on the cut line to consistently finish at or near the bottom of the standings, I also don't expect him to win on a weekly basis if he were to receive the 100 points he was docked last year. What's the overall outlook for RFK moving forward? Well, at this point, 11 races before the 2022 NASCAR playoffs. It looks like the change to the next-generation car and the fact that Keselowski is now an owner have caused some problems and probably set them back a step or two. I believe that as supporters, we overestimated Keselowski's impact on the club this year, but I believe that we overlooked the fact that this is a long-term haul. So this was all about this video. I hope you liked the information given in the video. If you have anything in your mind, feel free to comment below. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to get more videos like this. Also, hit the bell icon to get the notification of the latest updates in the channel. Thanks for watching.